It's time now for a Division Series report presented by Booking.com. And we're bringing in Josh Young right now. Pleasure to talk to Josh again, who is kind of to visit us here at MLB Network and Sea Caucus. Josh, now it's a different scenario as your team is just one win away from being in the ALCS. Well, how does it feel right now, the Rangers so close to going on to the next round? <laughs> I mean, it feels great. Um, if you'd have told me we were going to go into Baltimore and be 2-0, and um, after playing this really good team, I'd have said you were crazy. Um, but we're fortunate enough to come out of Baltimore with two wins. Still got a lot of work to do, um, but hopefully we can keep it rolling. Josh, I want to talk to you about what has kept you guys going. We just talked about going out to Anaheim, then up to Seattle, down to Tampa. What has kept the team together, and, and what's been the messaging within the clubhouse? I mean, the biggest thing for us, I think, was that lesson we learned in Seattle. You know, we're, we're going on that road trip um, for those last seven days, knowing we got to win only a couple games to win the division. Um, go up to Seattle needing two wins um, and fell short of that, lost the division title. Um, you could really sense it in the clubhouse. Everything was a little tight. Uh, everybody was trying to do too much, I think. And, um, you know, I think that was our lesson, uh, especially that long flight from Seattle to Tampa. Uh, I feel like um, everyone was just like, you know what? We just put ourselves through this tight environment, um, trying to win a division. Now let's just go play baseball and have fun. Hey, Josh, it's uh, Dan O'Dowd. Everybody's going to talk about your home runs, some of the base hits you have. I want to focus on your defense. Three to two game, game one, no outs, runners on first and second. And you get a uh, top spin rocket hit to you in the six hole. That's a do or die play that you made a great pick on. So I want to know, coming out of tech, how much time you spent when no one was watching for you to be able to put yourself in that position to make that kind of play in that special moment. I mean, that's an every that's an everyday thing. Um, off season, in season, spring training, that's just something we work on all the time. No matter what, it's just just make the play, put yourself in positions, um, take ground balls, and um, I mean, that's what we work for. But truly, on that play, big hats off to Simeon. I threw that ball high, um, and he was able to corral it and turn it. Uh, but I mean, that, that play changed uh, the momentum of that inning, and we were able to get out of there, and uh, Chappie ended up getting the next guy. So that was huge for us. Look at you taking care of your teammates. I want to talk to you about the emotions of playing third base in Baltimore. Dan just talked to you about making that play. We know you love Brooks Robinson. How cool was it to play the hot corner in Camden Yards to start your playoff journey? I mean, that was so cool. Um, you know, ended up being a third baseman in college. Brooks Robinson is one of my favorite players um, all time. So being able to play third in Camden Yards, even with his number, you know, painted on the grass is a little tribute to him that they did for him. I mean, that was awesome. Uh, I couldn't even, I can't even really express like the emotions that I kind of had going through it, but uh, it was super cool. I know health is always tricky for everybody this time. I mean, everyone's banged up to some level, but Josh, you're coming off that thumb injury in August off that line drive. So how's it feel? It's there. <laughs> uh, that's the kind of thing I say is it's still attached. Um, just doing everything I can to make sure it's ready to go every night. Uh, but, I mean, everybody at this point in the year, everybody's banged up, like you said. Um, everyone on the team, everybody from all the other teams, um, it's just about getting out there and performing uh, when it's game time, and I think that's what we're all doing. Hey, Josh, it's Dan again. Hey, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the mental part of the game. So at the College World Series, I saw you talking to your bat, and then I read an article was where you have uh, a consistent visit to the bathroom during the season when things don't go necessarily the way you'd like them to go. Just walk us through how you attack the sixth sense, that sixth part of the game, which is the mental part of the game. Um, that's, a daily, that's a daily journey for me. Um, and saying journey, because it's, it's kind of new every day. Uh, it's something that I have to continue to work on every single day. Uh, but yeah, one of my mentalities is to flush it. Um, when things aren't going my way, Good, bad, ugly, doesn't matter. Um, I do. I have to flush it. And I used to carry a little styrofoam toilet around with me everywhere. <laughs> um, but I left that at home. So now I just go to wherever the bathroom is um, and just flush it and try to clear my mind. And it's just kind of just like a an active um, something I can do to just forget about the bad play or the bad at bat um, and just move on to the next one. 
Josh, I know your dad's a high school coach. I can't even imagine had so much to do with your development. What's he saying to you these days watching his son play in y'all's home state for the Texas Rangers in the playoffs? What kind of advice are you getting from dad? Uh, to just be me, yeah. to just continue being who I am. Um, don't try to go out there and be a hero. Don't try to do too much. Um, just take it one at bat at a time. Um, but that's the message he sends me every day. Just go out and have fun. You're prepared. You've, you've put yourself in these situations before. This is everything you've worked for. Just go have fun. Also having fun is Evan Carter right now, Josh, 21 years of age. He's got a 706 on base percentage. What's been the key to his success? <laughs> um, I don't know. It's crazy. Evan, um, just you, you can't say enough good things about Evan so far. Um, his calmness in the box, um, his plate discipline is just crazy. Uh, it's admirable. Um, seeing how he prepares every day. Um, I mean, you can't say enough good things. Like I watch him sit, sit back on his iPad and kind of go through his approach on the day. Um, you just don't see that from a 21 year old every day. So, um, his, he's had a huge impact for us. He's been a huge player for us. Um, he's a great dude. Just can't be happier for him. All-star rookie, Josh Young. Thanks so much for the insight, Josh. Keep it rolling. As for that story, go in the bathroom and flushing it. As long as it's not like Jeff Daniels and Dumb and Dumber, you should be fine. Thanks so much, Josh. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Thank you.